like loose. Oh. All right, we're back. We got some more encore action right now. Swigzy, Olimar, Solart, Schultz. Both these guys have been playing very well today, so I'm excited to see this. Yeah, it looks like we got another... Oh, the job. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I was going to say, it looks like we got another uh, difficult matchup here against Schultz uh, for Swigzy. But very true, very true. He, he's got a dominating lead already. So you definitely got some of this uh, experience against Schultz, to my knowledge, so see how he plays it. Definitely a uh, on-paper hard matchup, though, for sure. Yeah, Although, I feel like uh, Pick Pikmin management here is going to be very important. I mean, right now, these purples are coming in clutch. Yeah, I, I think purple is just going to be so important. Yeah, he's building up some That's very the one thing he can throw at Schultz and get him in this, into this advantage. True. Anything else, Choke's gonna, you know, swing his gigantic sword in a in a nair and, and kill the big man, so. Up B not gonna do it. Puts him at ledge though, or rather off stage. Oh, Solar's going a little too hard maybe. And he's well, oh he didn't get punished for that. I lied. Yeah, he, he did not get punished. And I think he knew that he wouldn't get punished. So he's got one purple Pikmin. Let's see what he does with that. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, got him there. It's interesting, uh, one purple Pikmin can sometimes be better than three other Pikmin. Yeah. Because then you just have it in all, like, you don't have to worry about cycling it through with aerials. It, you always have it available. Yeah, and, and we see Swixie's just kind of chilling. Uh, Playing from a distance. Oh, got that pivot grab with the blue. With the blue. Very clean. Very <laughs> then he throws it out. <laughs> yeah, he's like, like I don't need you anymore. I do not want you anymore. You have served your purpose. Absolutely, man. Yeah, now he just wants damage, so he's going to be hunting for those purples. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, the parry. that buster. And, and honestly, Solar's not, that was not punishable by itself. He shielded and then dropped it. And that up smash caught that. A lot of damage for Swigzy. Put him over a stock ahead now. Oh, but Solar's looking maybe here to steal a very early stock. Uh, looks like he's not gonna. Oh, oh, oh man! See what he does here. He goes very deep. Wow. The yeah, bold he's trying really hard to do the edge guards, but Swigzy knows a little better than that. Mm. It's a little harder against uh, Olimar than it was for for the PT. What we saw him play earlier. True. Going deep off stage, he's still got that confidence, that boldness, but now it's it's harder to predict uh, his positioning. Swigzy's got a lot of options. Yeah, and as a result of, of his greediness, Sean's going to find himself in a pretty bad spot. Mm -hmm. Now he's just kind of like swinging, and, Ooh. and swinging is going to get him to stop. Swigzy so running up against the shield there. Maybe a little bit of trolling. Who knows? Okay. Shield's going to keep him safe for now, but this lineup with the purple and the blue. Oh. Caught him as soon as the, the shield was dropped. Mm -hmm. I, I do like that. Uh, Swixie's favorite lineup seems to be just having a purple and a blue because you're either going to get killed by the purple with an aerial or you're going to get grabbed mm -hmm. and die. Absolutely. Gives him that flexibility there. Oh, he's dancing in the camera. That feeling himself. Was that what like am the, I was what that what the am Batman I pose? <laughs> Some sort of celebration oh. there. I've seen that one. <laughs> See, moving into game two, didn't catch the stage, but I mean, I'd be shocked if it wasn't PS2 again. And there okay. we go. Great local, New York local gameplay. Very true. Oh, we love it. I guess that means Alpha, uh, Swizzy's pretty comfortable uh, with uh, his, his style of, you know, aggressive and defensive play. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Picks Doesn't feel spots. like he has to, you know, go to a bigger or a smaller stage. He's pretty good with what he has right now. Mm -hmm. Well, he's trying to get those punishes, but Schultz's aerial is just not even uh, with a parry. Will Almar's like up smash be able to punish those? Unfortunately, he wants his big damage combos. Yeah, Swigzy needs to focus a little more on uh, with punishing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, don't neutral get up. <laughs> don't do it. Don't even roll. That that covers roll. Oh. <laughs> up smash at ledge covers roll, neutral get up, and jump. It's the trick. 
Uh, but Swizzy did a good job kind of avoiding that, but still ended up getting edge guarded in the end. A better, much better spot for Solarts. A much better start, honestly. He had a great buster opening for stock, and that's what you need, you know? Well, Swizzy's standing in place for a while. Shielding, timing his shield perfectly, but not getting uh, the big forward smash. And now back to Buster. Yeah, okay, we got we got two purples. Oh, big damage. Oh, wow. And that time, catches him going high. That double jump. And this is a much, much better game for Solars. He's playing a lot more confidently on stage. Yeah, he's definitely adapting a lot better. Yeah, and slicing up these Pikmin right now. Just making sure he has a, a hitbox out at oh. all times. Wow. And that's where the matchup can go really south. Solik doesn't necessarily care about being stuck. As long as he can swing through them, that just extends his hurtbox. Exactly. You know, the, the, or extends the move's hitbox, sorry. The more Pikmin he has stuck on him, the longer that move will stay active. And the ledge trapping becomes an absolute menace. Against a character like like Alf, who's kind of weird with his own hitboxes and uh, how he throws Pikmin at you as well, um, Shul can just kind of beat all that out uh, and and basically like wall Olimar out with with his sword. Mm -hmm. And so, like I said, like as long as he has a hitbox out, it's gonna be a lot harder for Swizzy to approach. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot more of that now. Yeah, this, so this playstyle is gonna work. Not out for being Shul. afraid to just now swing, much more so. And he's shielding those Pikmin too, good timings. So uh, Swizzy looks like he he said, all right, Al, it's been a good run. <laughs> uh, going back to the tried and true green Olimar skin. It's true. The power up he needed maybe. Oh no, that, that definitely provides some mental power up. I think so. Happens. And this is, uh, this is best of three. So this is a game right here, oh, game Luger point. Semis. Oh wow. Semi's best of three. This could be really deadly, although he swerves around it nice. And take it, yeah, gonna. Oh, good jump read. Yeah. And Swixie picking a good spot there to be aggressive, honestly. Definitely uh, easy to just see Shulk and Smash Art take your chance to go back to center stage and start throwing Pikmin, but he recognized the opportunity there. And now he's got almost a full stock lead. Building yeah, you, up quickly. You, you can see a pretty big difference between when he full hop aerials, when Sean full hop aerials, and when he short hop aerials. Uh, and you know, he mixes up the timing pretty well, but when you can tell when he's about to full hop and just read that jump with a really good uh, purple Pikmin, uh, that's basically what he did for the first stop. Uh, but Sean's coming back now. Yeah, Sean needs those, absolutely. Uh, if he doesn't hit those those edge guards, those spares, the smash art, it's gonna, it's gonna be rough, because he's struggling a little bit more on stage now. Kind of reminiscent of game one. Okay, Swixie got a little greedy with the F smash, but absolutely. Uh, Sean also got kind of forgot how to punish that. Only got the Nair off. Sean got his damage though, for sure. Solarts uh, getting the percent he wanted from Buster. Mostly evening out this game. Oh, it doesn't catch him. Yeah, this is this is scary. This feels so volatile. Like, yeah, and Swixie's not landed those big hits right now. Good forward air. Backslash is such a safe move to throw out and uh, stay recovered. Yeah, Olimar cannot mess with that. Really wanted this F smash. Is, is practicing oh. some. What is happening? What, what is going on at the ledge? Oh, Sean loves his uppies. Yeah, he hasn't been punished for that. <laughs> oh, gets oh, the again, jump, though. Again, I love full seeing hop. those from, from Swigzy. Swigzy so stands up a little. He's he's getting pumped. Feeling good about it. Last stop. Unless, he, <laughs> unless he loses his stock right here, which he does. Yep. Okay. One to one. One stock. Both these car uh, both these players seem kind of worked up. Like, they really want to win this. Yeah. It's a good set we got. And Sean, not, not messing around, not taking damage from that white Pikmin. Yeah, for, uh, from a normal player's perspective, we're seeing uh, Shulk Nair, Alamar side beat. Yep. And that's all it is. But No one wants to go further. But also, future. like, the way that these people are throwing them out uh, and the timings is, is very calculated. Absolutely. I'm making sure they only throw them out when they're safe and when they're in the zone. Oh, and no tech there on the uh, on the Pikmin throw, the purple Pikmin throw. Cost Solar a decent chunk of damage, but is that gonna kill? Is that gonna close? It will. Wow, that was such oh, a good read. Oh, great play from Solar. I was not ready for that. 
I was not yeah. mentally prepared that uh, the stock was, was going slow. I was prepared for this game to go for a couple more minutes.